Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. Happy to be with you. This is weekly challenge number 42 on reharmonization, new chords. And I've chosen the song, A Change Is Gonna Come, the Sam Cooke version anyway, that I'm taking this from. And we're gonna be uh, taking the melody from that song, putting some new chords behind it, making a little arrangement, hopefully something pretty. And yeah, we're gonna listen to everybody else's versions at the end of the stream if you're new. This challenge comes from my Discord server and you can find a link to that in the description of this video. We have a new challenge every week. Yeah, so I'm excited to get into this. It's one of my favorite topics, chords. The whole month this week, the whole month this week, the whole month this month of October, 2021. It's about chords because uh, next week or this coming week, I'm releasing the third part of my musical Warp Drive series of courses. And this one's all about chords. So stay tuned for that. You'll have an announcement soon, which I'm very excited about. So all the challenges have been to do with chords and we're gonna have one more starting tomorrow also to do with chords. Um, yeah, and today we're doing reharmonization. So the challenge was to pick a song that you like the melody of, I hope, and then do one version where you take the original chords and maybe the original arrangement and put that together and then follow it up with a second one with all new chords in the same melody, possibly the same arrangement, possibly different. I'm sure we're going to get a wide variety of entries this week on this, so I'm excited to listen to that. It's one of my favorite things in music, honestly, reharmonization, taking something familiar, keeping the melody and then changing the chords to get new emotional feeling. Yeah, it's wonderful. So <clears throat> let's see who's here. Welcome to Jesper, Shevapo, Yermi, Baby, Perfunctory, Oro, Quality, DJ, Frio. I think that's it, right? Welcome, everybody. Pro level reharmonizing, yes, hopefully. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So I've actually prepared something, believe it or not. Sometimes I prepare things that like, I picked a few instruments and I kind of did that, but I actually prepared a lot of it today. <laughs> I prepared um, the whole reharmonization essentially. This is because I didn't want to just sit here for like half an hour, if not an hour, if not how long it takes me to sit down and try all the possibilities that I'm considering. And it's that maybe is interesting to some people, but it also could be very boring and it's a slow process. And there's also something to it in doing it um, just by myself, where I'm not on camera, not under any time constraint, not under any anything, and I can just kind of be very quiet and try things. So I did that last night. Um, yeah, and I have something here, so we can check it out. Hey, Ian. <laughs> yeah, preparation. <laughs> So th today's stream will be, I can talk about the chords and the um, decisions I made there, if that's of interest to anybody, and then I'll be making the little arrangement out of it, and we'll see how that goes. And also, I'm uh, testing out some new instruments that I got. So I purchased, uh, I need my headphones on. There's a, there's a company called Audio Modeling, maybe you guys have heard. Basically, they create... Um, physical models using synthesis basically to emulate real instruments. And so they have a series of woodwinds, a series of strings, of horns. So I bought the woodwinds series and it comes with, uh, yeah, I mean, all sorts of stuff. We can just look at it here. What is it? Flute, alto flute, bass flute, uh, uh, baritone sax, tenor sax, alto sax, soprano sax, contra bassoon, bassoon, clarinet, English horn, oboe and they're all synthesized so there's no recorded samples in them at all they are yeah fully just i mean i don't think so <laughs> they have a footprint on your computer of like 200 megabytes or less or something like that and they they're just tiny so um it sounds like this i have a clarinet Yeah. Um, 
So that's what I used for my lead instrument. I played through like a bunch of them. They all sound nice, but I just come back to the clarinet. It's just like my favorite sound. So I'm using the clarinet as my melody in this track. And then I've got a, how's the volume by the way? Here's a piano. This is from uh, Keyscape. This is like their upright grand. Um, yeah, so I need to buy an expression pedal. I don't have one, believe it or not, like a foot pedal, because then I can control the um, expression <laughs> dynamics and vibrato at the same time, which currently I can't do. So I had to just play it in um, with dynamics on the mod wheel, and then I had to draw in my vibrato. Hey, David, welcome. I'm just going to play through what I've got here so far, which I did prepare something, so... Let's check that out. So I mean, we're going to hear one time through the melody uh, with the regular chords and then one time through with the uh, reharmonization. And so if you don't are not familiar with the song, um, it's in 6-8 or 12-8, however you want to call it. This kind of thing. Okay. So since I don't have the drums in there right now, you might be confused on the rhythm when you first hear it. But let's give it a shot. It sounds like this. sustain pedal that wasn't working there for some reason. Um, but yes, that's the original version. Let me just try to fix the sustain problem. Not sure why that happened. Maybe it's this. Okay, so one more time, we'll go through that original one. It will flow into the new one. Yeah, I'm still getting to grips with the SWAM clarinet. SWAM is the name of the modeling stuff. S-W-A-M, SWAM clarinet. So when I say SWAM, that's what I mean. In terms of like getting it to be as realistic as I can. Um, it sounds pretty good right now. There's some parts though that I feel like need work and, and in terms of like changing vibrato speed and some nitty gritty details and stuff. But in general, I like it. So um, the song is in the key of B flat, the original, and I kept it in the original key. Oh, I don't have my chord thing up. If, of all days, this would be the day that I want my chord watch, right? Yeah. So it's... Thank you. 
That's the original. It's basically one, two, six. It's the main progression. And then one, two, flat, six, five major. Um, I'm thinking of the minor key. <laughs> one, two, one, two minor seven, four, five of six, six. That's the original. So it's a nice melody. The chords are very simple, relatively speaking. So it's a good candidate for reharmonization because there's a lot of room to play around. Um, in the reharmonization, I'll play through the chords. Uh, I'll play it once with the melody again, then I'll play through the chords with the chord watch on screen, just in case anyone now or in the future wants to see them. So I decided to try to do something um, a little bit restrained. I didn't want to go like dirty loop style or something. You know, I think that would probably be my normal way of reaching out. Doing a reharmonization is just like the most bang in modal altered craziness I could possibly do because that's a lot of fun. So I was trying to avoid some of that and do something, um, I don't know, more subtle. So uh, the chords are basically. Jem says, could you please, if you can see my submission on Dropbox, had to step away from the computer, but didn't receive a confirmation email. Okay, yeah, we'll check that. I'll check it now for you. I do want to hear your submission, so it's not there. So you might want to try re-uploading that. All right. So, um... We have this. Normally that's just a one chord hanging the whole time. So instead I'm going one flat seven because it fits the melody notes basically and gets a new feeling in there, this guy. So. And then walking down towards, eventually it's supposed to land on a C minor seven. Uh, I'm gonna land on an inverted C minor C minor, add nine, first inversion. But we're gonna walk all the way down there from the one chord, which is going one, five inverted, six, one inverted, down to this two chord inverted, um, one inverted. And then instead of landing right on the six, which is supposed to at that moment, we delay it by going to its five, but keeping it minor, and then landing. Five of one, back to home. So that is that whole first section.
the melody. In the second half, we have the one, four, one sort of thing where you play a one chord, then you play a four inverted. So like a pedal tone sort of thing. Interesting thing here is that the melody um, is on this D, which is the third of that chord. When we go to the four, it rubs against it, right? So if you listen to that melody against the second chord there. I like it. It's not something that I would normally be doing since, since it doesn't really um, match the melody note, but at the same time, somehow this like really warm one for one movement against the rubbing on the melody note really works in that case. This guy is a one dominant chord, but with its seventh in the bass. going to like a four inverted or a two inverted as it calls it here. That's a two five to our target, which is the six, here's the six. But normally you'd play the two as a minor seven flat five chord, which would be diatonic like that, right? That sort of thing. Uh, but you can just play it as a regular minor ninth and you get a really interesting sound <laughs> with that note in there. It's a raised tonic degree going to the uh, tritone substitution. That's sort of the move there. So that's the chromatic bass going down. Four, five, one. That chord there at the end is um, basically a one major seven sharp five. Or flat six as this is calling it. The way I was really thinking of it was one five of six, which is D, D major in this case would normally go to the G minor, but instead we just go back and forth. That's the whole thing. So we'll listen one more time and then I'm going to start putting an arrangement together for this. Okay, quality, that's fine. Nice to have you here. So let's get the drums in first. I have loaded up a brush kit here, and we're just gonna play the same style as the original. This sort of thing, could be. We'll do that for the second half. 
You like bar 29. What's bar 29? Oh, yeah. With the <laughs> minor 9. Mm -hmm. So here we go. No, on here it shows nothing's going on so it must be the rest of the streaming and stuff that it's not very happy with uh, so maybe I'll up my buffer just slightly oh, I'm at 64 <laughs> that'll do it <clears throat> get a slight Yeah, that's right quality. Yeah, I like it too. They're very cool. Here, maybe we'll switch it up to be. Actually, let's do this. Switch it up to be a uh, ride symbol instead of the hi hat. Be nice. that ending later all right like that now we've got the bass so this is piano bass i've got a hey i got some pretty low notes already in the piano which we might have to deal with i can go an octave lower though So let's just, I'm just going to play around here for a second.
Yeah, let's uh, EQ some of the bass out of the piano. We'll leave the bass notes in there, I kind of like them. Take just a one round through and we'll see what happens here. Roughly. guys. too that I chose it. I like it. It's beautiful. Do, do, do. We do there. you if I'd rather go blind. I don't know that song. Top. 
busted right there. It's busted, bro. Thank you, my friend. I don't know how to say your name. I, I, you were here last time. I'm sorry. You told me that you don't know how to say it either, but I think that's a lie. Honestly, I don't even know what to. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Even as a joke, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Powell, uh, aka Pablo. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember that. Pablo, Pablo. Who can I connect that to? Pablo. I don't know any Pablos. Pablo Escobar. <laughs> if you can play this on a bass <laughs> actually holding this note and doing this but it's going to sound good so that's what you gotta do stand up maybe yeah, he probably plays that I just got to complete this run because it's kind of cool even though a bassist would never do this but I guess I would if I were a bassist I hit this chord wrong Hey, man. Welcome. Maybe uh, a soft can tell me if it's feasibly playable. He would know. All right. 
Let's hear the whole bass line from the top. How's the mix for you guys? Is it working? Pretty good. There's a couple spots in the beginning that are weird. Let me just fix that quickly and then we'll move on. Know what better TV is, Frio? Mm -hmm. The bass is from um, Trillion by Spectrosonics, the same people that make Omnisphere and Keyscape. I love it. Oh, not the bass. Oh, the brass. It's not brass. Um, it's a woodwind. It's um, a clarinet by S S Audio Modeling, which we're going to use another one. Um, we're going to use another one of their instruments. So let's think, what's going to work well with this? Probably Frio is my, my best bet for. I want like a secondary line. Let me think here. instruments are going to work together. Um, what does an English horn even sound like? I actually don't know. Let's find out. Contrabassoon. Hey, oh, I haven't even activated this one. God damn it. It's like activate it all before you do the stream, bro. I didn't. Um, Contrabassoon. Flute. Yeah, I was hoping to have something that's lower so that I can um, play stuff underneath the melody, although above the melody is also nice. So a f we will get a flute in there. But let's try first a tenor sax, the smoothest tenor sax I can possibly play. Let's see. 
Every time I start this, I have to remap the MIDI because of my setup. Mm -hmm. So let's take the Reaver mix off and send this guy to the massive verb one. So I don't know if I want to add this in the beginning or not. Let's do it in the second half first. Okay. This is going to be good if I can actually think of something to do. Careful with how you play these things, or they sound kind of weird. Oh, I got the hard velocity setting on. See the melody's gonna be right there, so I'm gonna avoid that. All right, 
right, so let's start getting a second instrument in there to harmonize with this guy. Actually, these all have different models too of things. So I've got like the instrument choice here and you can choose sax flat versus, you'll see, we'll have a few different options. Let's hear it soloed. So. Missing the first note. I want sax. One warm, lots of dynamic pitch. You can change the harmonic structure, change the format. More nasally, more rounded. How much breath noise, how much key noise. So let's get a piano cat. Man, every week I'm like, I gotta make a sound effect for that, and I never do. We're gonna record our cat and use that as a sound effect. I just gotta get around to actually doing it. <laughs> um, we'll use a bass clarinet to harmonize with this guy, maybe, or a alto sax. How about bass clarinet? Let's try that. And oops, no. Back to main options, MIDI mapping, change the thing. Okay. Okay, get the reverb on this guy as well. And then yeah, there's a lot of automation. There's a lot of automation in any kind of like trying to, you know, deal with uh, sampled instruments in any way, right? So I like this one because if you want to perform it live, you really can do it well. But then to make it like perfect sounding, you got to do a lot of automation. Okay, so now this guy, let's put you a little bit left. Let's put you a little bit right. And we can move this guy down and show you at the same time. So these guys can do like show the melody at the same time. Ah, maybe we don't need to. We'll see. Thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> the G flat, yeah. <laughs> This guy's got to change to match that chord. Mm -hmm. Create an organic contact library with Swam and sell it for five nine nine. Yeah, totally. has to be like Stranger, what's the mouse? You like the click sound? <clears throat> it's a uh, MX Logitech MX Master. I'm the master, the computer master. Yeah, Logitech MX Master. I think I love it. Okay, can we get a flute in there too? So there's no key switches on these things, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's all done by velocity and performance and everything, right? So it's really geared towards that, which is kind of my jam. Correctos, welcome. So here you can choose between a from fully classical style. To fully ethnic as they call it. Okay. 
Yeah, it says key switches in the middle box, and I I guess you can oh right, you can assign key switches to do like overblowing. But uh I don't have any of that set up right now. So let's go back to this and see what we can do here. the melody too much. Duplicate the melody. Kind of interesting, actually. Up an octave, though. Hey, Darmolian. Is Swam CPU friendly? I mean, it looks decent right now. Yeah, I got the Swam Woodwinds bundle. So, yeah, I mean, it's using like 10% of a core. I don't know about duplicating that with the melody there. What do we do? We just have some high notes.
work ago. Skelet Hero. <laughs> Question for all the keyboard players out there. I just started trying to double down on keyboard playing. I was wondering if there is a correct usage of the right hand fingers, for example, thumb, middle finger, pinky, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I mean, go with whatever's comfortable, but also notice that, like, when you hold your hand, your thumb sits lower than the rest of your fingers, right? So these are good for black keys, white key. It doesn't mean always like that, but generally if you're running scales, that's what's happening. You're trying to keep these on black keys and this on a white key. You're trying to keep your fingers bent like this, using the tips of them. Uh, otherwise, there's as many variations in how people play as there is players, uh, at least in the more jazz and pop genres. So I wouldn't be afraid to experiment and just see what works for you. Yes, thank you, Frio. Um, I think we already hit the 500th member, didn't we? Ah, uh, I don't know about that. What about the strings, hey? Should we do the strings? But now it says 499. Oh, someone pieced out. They're like, nah, it's not not for me. Hey, Dillery. Welcome. All right, let's try this, see what, what happens here. This doesn't legato back and forth, eh? Just put another violin in there and see if it sounds any good. I think the violin stuff is going to take me too long to program.
<laughs> That's my pleasure, Skeletiro. I'm glad that you like it. Thank you for being here. Let's go up. Probably, right? All right, there we go. Um, and then let's copy um, from here. So then this can be the ninth of this A minor chord. Oh, it doesn't come yet. <laughs> to the V, hopefully.
finish this guy up. Honestly, I don't know if I want to do too much more. Like, the point was for the chords, and I like them. And let's hear the whole thing. Too much in B flat. Yeah, let's transpose it. Let's do that. Up by two semis. What's that sound like? <laughs> for the key change. flat though. <laughs> what a trip. I wonder if we can make a key change right here. Uh, my thought process is, can I find three notes, the same ones that are part of the current key, that um, are also part of a different key, but is not too far away? The 
could just go like that, I guess. Let's just try that, just a straight up a, a whole step. It's not usually my style, but it might be today. He does music at a tuxedo party. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. Did the bass change one beat too early there? Is that the problem? Yep. It's kind of nice, actually. Um, can we make the chord do something of interest? <laughs> Maybe. Sorry if this is like not cool. That's an interesting idea. And we like those. All right, let's hear the whole thing now with the key change. Let's fix the drums at the end. Hey, a yurts. <laughs> a yurts. Welcome. Thanks. Okay. Really not one to end on these, you know, one chords. 
I did get my little movement in there. We'll leave it. And then we just need the bass to hold. Was pretty simple in terms of production. Thanks, Jim. I'm glad you liked it. Now I'm going to get what I like, which is listening to you guys. I'm very excited to hear what you guys did, really. Um, as I mentioned, reharmonization is like top of the list for me, pretty much, in terms of fun things to do in music and listen to. Paolo, hey, welcome. Thanks. Um, yeah, and if anyone's new here, by the way, check the description of the video. There's... Um, a link to the Discord, which is where this challenge comes from, which I kind of have a new one tomorrow. And uh, as well, there's some links to courses I have on music theory and composition, and a new one is coming out this week, all about chords, believe it or not, just like this stream was all about chords. So yeah, if you're interested in learning um, my thoughts on how uh, I think about chord progressions and voicings and things like that, then that's probably something you want to pick up. If not, it's not something you want to pick up. It's pretty simple. How's this for spaced out? Two tracks here, a bunch of blank space, one track. Oh, you can't even see it anymore. Don't worry about it. Okay, please, Frio, send it to me somewhere. Recently read a phrase, nothing in music is hard but unfamiliar. Mm, yeah. I can see that. Except for maybe, like, literally playing an instrument. Maybe that's hard. I watch Tom Quayle play and I say, that's hard. That's hard to do. <laughs> so, if you're new, now what we're going to do is listen to entries from other people who participated in the challenge from the Discord and get stoked. Thanks, TJ. <laughs> All right, so we've got 11 entries today. Let's get into it. We're early. Hey, wow, 11.30. Half an hour before I normally stop. Hell yeah. Okay, we're going to go backwards today. So um, we're going to start with DJ Bavaldi. And the track is called Reharmichaelization. Reharmichaelization. Assuming it's Michael Jackson. So let's make sure you're going to be able to hear this. I think so. Oh, yes. Let's get into it. Okay, DJ. What you got?
Nice one, DJ. Wow. I love me some Michael. That's great. That was banging loud too, hey? It was just like against the limiter. Like, hello, what's up? Thank you so much, DJ. Now we got Taco. Taco's not here today, hey? Taco Sausage. Isn't she lovely? Ooh, I love this song. Okay, Taco, what you got? <laughs> nice one, Taco. That was dope. Got some really low bass notes in there, right? Like too low, maybe? <laughs> to the point where they can hardly even tell they're a note. It was really dope, though. Thanks, Taco. Now we got Perfunctory. Me Souffle, it's called. Is this a song? Is that the name of the song? I don't know that, but let's check it out. Okay, Perfunctory. Nice one, perfunctory. I really like the change in feel too, not just in harmony, but a whole like tempo change, feel change. It was great. I actually don't know the song. I feel like I'm out of the loop on that. Is it like a modern pop song or something that I'm unaware of? <laughs> now we got Shep. It's called Really Done This. Here we go, Shep.
great, Shep. Really like that. <laughs> now we got ILM. I like music. SSB reharm. Star Spangled Banner. Is that what that means? Ooh, we got a high bar there, bro. You're going to probably get it, but you know. that The Star, Star, Star Spangled Banner reharm, if that's what you did, was the reharm from Take 6 that basically like changed my life when I was a teenager. So, you know, no pressure. <laughs> Very nice, ILM. I like that. That was great. Both parts of it were nice. The, the first arrangement was also really nice, too. Thank you. I will play the take six thing at the end of the stream for sure. Um, now we got Frio with Clocks by Coldplay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nice for you. Very pretty, as always. Pretty master. Wow. Thank you for you. They really like the flute too. Now we got David, pale skinny Swede with Ola Moore. Okay. Ola Moore. <laughs> great david i don't know the song actually but i really like it that was great i want to dance people are looking at the title of this video like 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna drop in for the change is gonna come reharm. <laughs> ma ah, ma a, hello, welcome. Now we got quality with lament of a zombie. It's called. Okay, lament of a zombie. <laughs> wow, that was quite something, Dan. Nice. I like the strings. Nice voicings there, too. This is fun. Wow. Harmony, man. Gem. Gems up with It's Britney B. Honey. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're gonna get me with the minor major seven. I'm always into that kind of thing. That was great, Jim. Really like that. Can we also just take a minute to um, appreciate not that track, but I mean not not the original, but the other Britney song, Toxic. What a track. The producers working on that, man, geniuses. The beat, the melodies, instrumentation. Wow. Okay. Um, now we got Shevapo. Wow, I can't even pronounce this at all. Conte partiro fuori da questi accordi. Sorry. I thought it was French at first, then I'm thinking now, what is it Spanish? Or is it Italian? Italian. Here we go. Chevapo with a name of a song I can't pronounce.
That was great. <laughs> Thank you, Shabbat <Shabbopo>. Po. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> now we got uh, Dillery Huff. Oh, I'm stoked for this one. I know Dillery's got some experience, some knowledge regarding reharmonizations. So it's called Super Beatles Smackdown, Eleanor Rigby edition. <laughs> the Super Beatles Smackdown. All right, here we go. That was dope, Dillery. I'm so glad that you did that. I was hoping somebody would do something along the lines of that. So I'm glad that our last one of the day was that. That was pretty, that was full on. Basically what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, here's mine um, once more. And then I've got another reharmonization that I've done of a song I'll play for you. And then we'll listen to the take six one together, which will be wonderful. So here's the one that I did today. Nice. Happy with that. Hope that was enjoyable for you guys. Um, okay, so this one I'm going to play for you is one that I've not played on a stream before. I Either you're going to love it or you're going to cringe and hate it. I've had both reactions to it. I tried to upload it to, you, uh, to SoundCloud years ago and it got taken down for copyright strike. So this video is probably going to get copyright stricken as well. Um, but you know, it's okay. It's a uh, Michael Jackson remix, actually. It's black or, black or white. I did this in uh, 2013. It's quite something. So, who hated it? <laughs> I won't name any names. <laughs> Here we go.
heard that in years wow that was fun <laughs> oh god <laughs> hope you like that <laughs> okay so now we're just gonna check out um uh, the recording that changed my life very different from what we just listened to, but better to end on. Um, glad you guys like it. Uh, 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 what's it called? So take six stars. I think there's just some like Michael Jackson fans that are die hard about certain things and certain songs. And so I had some people that like that's their favorite. Michael Jackson song, which is probably close to my favorite Michael Jackson song too. And they heard it and they were like, how could you do this to this song? <laughs> but that's the fun. So I've never done this before. I'm gonna try to put this uh, video up on the second monitor and then change my screen over to show that. So let's see if that works. So I saw this when I was probably like, um, I don't know, 16, something like that. And I had been <clears throat> mainly into like rock, rock and I don't know, I had a little bit of jazz in my life at the time, but not much rock, classical, proggy stuff, some electronic music. 
And then I saw this and I was like, oh, okay. So this is possible in music. And now this is what I have to do for the next, you know, 10 years of my life. Basically, I saw this uh, performance, heard the arrangement, and I said, I have no idea how to do anything that sounds like that. And I now need to dedicate basically my entire life to being able to do that sort of thing, which I feel like I got to a point I cannot write at the level that take six writes, of course, but I got to a point where I was at least happy that I could make arrangements and chords and things that sound similar. Um, so if we flip this over to this, oh, it works. Um, get my face out of here. We don't need to see that. So this is the track. Hopefully the volume's all right. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight? Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly strained. To the gods. Yeah, so I saw that when I was a teenager. Changed my life. I didn't actually end up, for whatever reason, I didn't search Take Six after that. I was like, oh, these guys are sick. And then just like went on and did my own thing, studying and stuff for years. And then came back to them years later. And through some other means, I found them again. I was like, oh, those are those guys that did that thing that changed my life. And then now Megan and I basically just listened to Take Six all the time for years and years and years. Although they did have like two or three amazing albums and then they completely changed their style and got rid of the jazz thing for many, many years and I'm just not that interested in it. But anyway, glad you liked it. Um, yeah, worth the strikes, no doubt about it. You need to take six harmony challenge. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, everybody, that was a lot of fun. Just over noon today. A key dude left. Yeah, that's right. Um, a couple of them over the years left, but one of the guys, uh, Mervyn Warren, that was doing some of the arranging for them in the early days left, unfortunately, or fortunately for him, I don't know. Um, but it, it changed, so happens. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have a new challenge tomorrow, also on chords, the last chord challenge of the month. And I'm going to post the entries uh, or someone, maybe maybe myself, is going to post the entries today uh, after the stream, and we're going to have the voting and all that. So please join the Discord if you're not in there, 
and cast your votes for last week too, please, that you might have forgotten. There's just a few votes in there right now. So go back and check on that one. Get those votes in today. And um, yeah, then we'll have the results of last week's challenge. We'll have the new challenge tomorrow. And then this week, the course comes out. I hope it's going to be submitted to the Udemy review process just shortly. And then it's out of my hands as to how long that takes them. Um, yeah. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I appreciate you all. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks again.